So the summer event just came out and I'm going to review it, like everyone does. I usually don't like to review these events since my opinions on them are always the same and I'm not a big fan of the events, but that's exactly why I'm reviewing it. I want to explain why. This review is mostly going to be focusing on this specific event though, although some things apply to most events. This event, like most other events, follows the same complete quest to unlock boss formula. The quest for this event is miles better than the other ones. It's actually hard instead of brain dead like the Easter one. I always thought that PR didn't put much thought into making these quests. He probably just thinks of random obstacles and plus them all in carelessly without thinking about how fun it is, leaving a mix of fun obstacles and painful ones. But this year, it's different. Starting off, you finally have infinite stamina. I think this should be a given in all the quests. Infinite stamina eliminates waiting time with little effort. You go through some easy jumps that have amusing hidden traps that you will fall for in the first rounds but won't affect you after. They are not that annoying. As soon as you are done with that, you go to a stage of disappearing platforms and thank goodness he didn't add those platforms that disappear when you touch them. After that, you go to a hard set of moving platforms that actually makes you think. Moving on, you go through some decent obstacles and you paraglide to a jet ski and unlock the squid. I think this is one of the better bootcamps compared to the other events, but once you beat it once, what's the point? This is going to be a reoccurring question through the rest of this video. Moving on to the boss fight, it's awesome. The boss has so many different attacks that are punishing but not frustrating, except for the stupid anchor that falls on your head at the speed of light. Like, seriously, what do you expect, PR? For us to keep an eye on the sky, waiting for the anchors to fall? No, this is just Papa Squid is also an engaging boss as he swims around the entire map and uses his movements to eliminate players. There are also many obstacles for you to avoid that are part of the environment. The health does seem somewhat high, but it's still beatable. There are a few glitches, sure, but overall, I think that PR really did put some thought into the boss fight. Except for the anchor. So after you beat it and get the jet ski, what's the point? The novelty is over. You can keep on playing the boss to get your tickets and items and buy things from the item store, but is it fun? I personally don't think it is. It feels like work, honestly, as you play on for hours doing the same thing to receive whatever it is that you desire in your inventory. I don't like that, but if I want the items, then I have to. This basically applies to all of the events. You start playing them for fun, but after a couple of rounds, you play them for the rewards. This is why I'm never excited for the events. But what are some solutions to this? But before that, let's just think if it's even going to be worth replacing them. Bus fights have been a tradition since old R2D and people still like them. It generates a lot of hype and gets a lot of players to play R2DA. So I clearly have the unpopular opinion here. So it's not worth planning a solution if people like the current events. It also probably makes bum loads of money for PR to have grindy boss fights so I don't see change. There is no reason why I should even give alternatives, it's probably staying. To end this segment, I would like to quickly review the other things from the event. The skins don't seem too attractive but I like how colorful they are. The customs look fun but not interesting compared to the other skins. The water gun is just a fire extinguisher but less useful. The jet ski is a great mount for getting out of situations in specific maps, but I'd rather still have the duck, which is more offensive. The new map transformations are just useless removal of useful space just to promote the new mount. The items don't seem to be very useful except for the popsicle and the splush, and the crab mine is good for very specific things, so get them at your own wish. That's all I have to say.